The first thing Kelly needs to do is enter the school's server address. You remind her to add slash public to the end of it. Then press enter. Once the parent sign-in page appears, click create account so she can make a single sign-on account through which she can view all of her children's school records. In the first section, enter Kelly's first name, last name, and the email address where reports will be sent. Enter a unique username next. Then enter a password for the account. PowerSchool rates the security of the password as you create it. You recommend that Kelly protect her children's information by using a password that includes numbers and capital letters, and that isn't a number or word that could be guessed easily. Re-enter the password to verify it. Next. Explain that the Linked Students to Accounts section is where Kelly will link her children to her account. Enter Lacey's first and last name in the Student Name field. In the Access ID column, enter the ID the System Administrator gave Kelly to use to access Lacey's student record. This Access ID is not the Student ID. Next, enter the Access Password. Open the Relationship menu and select Mother to indicate how the account holder, Kelly, is related to the student. Now record the information for Catherine. Enter her first and last name, access ID, and access password. You'll notice that the girls' access IDs don't match. That's because these IDs are unique to each student. When you fill out this form, you're telling the parent portal which student accounts are activated when you sign in. Open the Relationship menu and select Mother. Then click Enter. Next, you see the Parent Sign-In page again, but this time it displays a message confirming that Kelly's single sign-in parent account has been created. Ask her to sign in by entering her username and password, and then clicking Sign In. After signing in, you see the Parent Portal Start page. On the left side of the page is the Navigation menu. You point out that most of the features Kelly will be using are links in the menu. Kelly then asks a good question. Is there a difference between the parent view and the student view of the portal? You let her know that there is a difference. Students do not have access to email notification or account preferences. On the start page, Catherine's name is highlighted. This indicates that the grades and attendance information you see belong to her. Click Lacey to view her grades and attendance information. The information changes to display Lacey's grades and attendance. Kelly seems pretty excited at how easy it is to access her daughter's information from one account. Before you continue, scroll down to try linking a student to an account by following the step-by-step -step instructions in a Try It activity.